welcome to the Black and Out Table from the 718, right off the vegan, the man with the silkiest do rag, Manny. From Virginia by way of Europe, he gives his all every week. Cody Gray, live and direct from Strong Island, the certified good you, Sky High. Listening to the Black and Ounce Table. I like your guys' style. Hi, 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 What an intro. That, that I like how they did the little, the little remix. Facts. I like you guys' style. Yo, that's forever cemented. In history, right there. I like your guy. I like your. I like your guys' style. You liking my style? What did Fabio say? <laughs> what Troy Ave say? She like my style. She like my. <laughs> Turn that up. <laughs> quoting, quoting Troy Ave in 2024 is insane. Amazing. Weirdo. <laughs> Outer. <laughs> Outer. <laughs> Let's. Oh, yeah. Let's. How about? We talk about something fun that happened. Yes. Like an interview with the one and only Becky Lynch. The the man herself. Mm. Drew Heard. I'm going to give a little round of applause for that. I feel like that's much needed right now. Go ahead, man. Yeah. Big shouts out to us and Becky. (laughs) When when I first read that, I re- wait put it up again. I read it as the man Black Becky announced Lynch table. <laughs> yeah, just make it. <laughs> Nigga didn't like your brain didn't be like yo. Let me read all the red and all the white separately. Listen, I I thought it was a copywriting error. <laughs> Nigga read all that shit at once, confused himself. <laughs> I read it like Noriega. I was like, oh, word. Hmm. Mm. This is interesting. Yeah. Chinese niggas got something to do with this? Say <laughs> the man yeah. black. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> uh, Shouts to Becky Lynch, though. Man, the, I, the first... Uh, is she the first woman... Yeah, I think she is the first woman interview that we've had. We just had low interview, interview. Oh, 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 oh. yeah, nah. As far as interviews go, she's she's the first woman that we've gotten an interview. And hey, man, what a way to kick it off! And you feel me? The man, Becky Lynch, the goat. I'm telling you, man. As far as interviews go, that one is that one is up here. Yeah. And I, I listened to that interview about two, three times. Great interview. Did you did you notice me uh not know what I was gonna ask when I asked the first question? <laughs> yeah. When when I asked that question about like what was it like like uh living in America or whatever, I couldn't read, bro. I'm sitting there looking at my phone trying to find the question, and I'm like, oh, there's so <laughs> many words on here. <laughs> that nigga dumb. <laughs> I, I knew what, what I knew what the question was gonna be the entire time, and I'm sitting there. I'm like, "What the fuck was my question?" So I'm sitting there, and I'm like, "How do I stall? Call a Dominican. <laughs> that'll that'll buy me some time. That'll do it. Bought that nigga zero time, son. Bro did not know what <laughs> nigga was like. Um, <laughs> nigga put the hand up like one second. <laughs> <laughs> Yo." Yo. Uh, if you rewatch it, or if you're watching it for the first time, you'll notice me uh, looking straight off to the side, trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. Man, it happens though, man. It's all good. Good time. Interview came out great, man. That's all. Like, somebody want to know why you were dressed like a uh, a youth pastor? <laughs> <laughs> I was at work doing this interview. Uh, you know, the time slot that we had, I was only available at work. So I just had to, you know, make it work. Or, and I dress business casual, so. Talk to him, man. What do you want me to do? Listen, I went back to look at some of the old interviews. 
Eve used to wear full on pastor suits. <laughs> First off, I did that for one interview. I don't know. It, it looked like multiple to me. Yeah. You feel me? I did that for one interview. I dressed up like Kendrick Perkins for the Brown Breaker interview, and that was it. I think the rest of them, I was just chilling, had on a fitted. You feel me? Business cash. Cash. You no. Know, usual. This one we was we was chilling. We was rocking out. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, man. I think my, my supervisor made a couple appearances. <laughs> Shouts to your supervisor for letting you rock. Word. On the clock. Yeah, I'm not going <clears throat> I'm not I'm just happy we got the interview done and you know in the bag. Because with them interview, it'd be shaky, man. I don't know. To me, I don't know if y'all feel the same way, but to me, the interview, like, we, we may get the email and get a little confirmation, but it's not confirmed mm-hmm. until I see them right here in this stream, until that joint say recording, until afterwards where it say done. That mm-hmm. is when it is, you know what I'm saying? For me, that's when it's complete. So until until then, I'll be anxious the whole time. Mm-hmm. You know I was saying? anxious and I hit the record button. Like, oh shit, did Cody hit it? Yeah, you you were you pressed it and we wasn't even <laughs> like about to start the shit. Yeah, it was just like we gotta record now. Yeah, just in case. I'm glad just I'm glad that case. happened. Yeah, because we got that moment in the beginning. Yep. You know oh, th- there's another man here. <laughs> and he said, Yeah, Manny. <laughs> Yeah, in, ty- in typical Manny fashion. Oh yeah. Listen, somebody had to break the ice, bro. We let me let me give you a little behind the scenes look of how this happened, <laughs> bro. We're we're chopping it up, hanging out, obviously ignoring the elephant in the room, which is Becky Lynch, just waiting for her to join the uh, the session or whatever. Uh, the PR people for the WWE join. We start making a little couple jokes with them because now we're having a conversation about whatever we were talking about, and then they just join. Yeah, so, I was in the middle of, of rapping a Papoose verse. Exactly. <laughs> no, no, these niggas at the table, and meanwhile, <laughs> WWPR is joining the stream. Yeah, I was like, hey, 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 I, I. <laughs> so we we were talking about the intricacies of this Kendrick Lamar versus Drake beef. Pause, no Diddy, and then uh, so the WWE PR people join. Now we're like, we just start making a couple, a uh, couple jokes, you know, trying to trying to make it less awkward because it's better than just staying quiet while they're there. Or <laughs> everybody in here just looking at each other like this. Exactly. So once they join, that's why it's the the conversation <laughs> dims down a little bit, but we're still talking. And then Becky Lynch joins. And once she joins, no conversation happens. Now it's just us sitting there, like, just waiting, just waiting for the for the interview to start. We scared. We waiting for the thumbs up. Like, yo, can we roll? Yes. Yeah. Right. So, so now we're all here. Becky Lynch is here, and we're just sitting there in silence. And she, you know, tries to, you know, start the convo by bringing up that my name was Demani, and then you know. That's how that's how the interview basically started. That's how it started. Yo, let me tell you, one of the most awkward things when these interviews happen is the is honestly the beginning of the interview when they're like, "You got twenty minutes, go," and it's like, yeah. <laughs> "Okay." He's <laughs> <laughs> like, "You got twenty minutes, do your thing." You're like, uh, "All right, I guess Cody, go ahead, inbound the ball." <laughs> no, it 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 really is the worst. Once they tell us like a set amount of time, because we dead ass just have to sit there and go, ha, ah, all right, how do we start this? And you know, we we manage to get it done every time. Every single time. We was like, damn, how are we gonna maneuver the offense, man? Triangle. Come on, man. That's that's light. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was it was it was great talking to Becky. It was great, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's something like when we started this, obviously we never expected to like be sitting here talking to Becky Lynch or anything. So that I was, did. That was some real well when we when we started, Manny, you you know. 
wasn't oh, there. I was I, I was there in spirit. Yeah, he was with a hookah in hand. Exactly. Know. But nah, like it's just now we sit here interviewing Becky Lynch. Like that's that's some real dope shit. You know what I'm saying? So big shouts out to like Becky cool as hell, man. Like even like before the interview, during the interview, and after, like she's just cool as hell. Comes off as a good person. So that was dope. Fact, she was amazing, man. And also shouts to everybody <clears throat> that showed love. Uh, I've, it's been a lot, a lot of just a response, a lot of love being shown. Um, I don't think I've, I was able to get back to everybody, but yo, thank you to literally everybody that's tapped in, liked the uh, interview, shared the interview, reposted it, did whatever, man. I appreciate all of y'all. I love all of y'all. And uh, I'm happy that we was able to do this for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm happy that we able to bring y'all good content quality content quality interviews um like i said I, I listened to the interview about two three times and you know going back to our first interview compared to now listening to how we flow the questions that we asking how we're asking the questions i i'm i'm proud of us man i'm proud of the guys you feel me i did an excellent job my, my son cody was on his shannon sharp shit with the with the intro and the questions and shit like that my son manny breaking the ice I'm just here to facilitate, you know what I'm saying? KP doing his thing. Cuzzo, like, I'm, I'm proud of the gang, man. So thank you to, to everybody, gang. Proud of y'all boys, man. So, yeah, th this was one of them ones, man. This was one of them days you just got to uh, you just gotta take in the love, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to receive the love. No diddy. <laughs> I was I was I was gonna say it if you didn't. Yeah, man. You no, know I'm saying I feel I like I think I seen the tweet. I'm I think it was Vin. Shouts out to Vin. Yeah, was like uh you guys um like like something I think it's something like did it your way and everything. You know what I'm saying? How we how we run our show, how we do our show and everything, and still be able to bring in someone like Becky Lynch. Like you know what I'm saying? Like that 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 resonated with me though. Like damn, son! Like you ain't gotta be, you ain't gotta be the standard wrestling show. Like you could do things your way and still get in the mix with a, a Becky Lynch, with these superstars and stuff, and still keep it you. Like so, that was a dope uh, tweet from Vin. I really appreciate that. Yeah, right. honestly, I think like the PR people. I think the WWE like likes that when they when you're not the typical podcast or typical wrestling podcast. You know what I'm saying? Like you, we not one of these. I don't want to say no names, but we not we not like you know the others. You know what I'm saying? Where it's not like we just some like snobby, rude, just nerdy, you know, pricks. We just we here to have fun, talk about the product. We gonna give our opinion, whether it's, it's good or bad. You feel me? We gonna give our takes, our opinions. And when it comes to the interviews, we are gonna give y'all good interviews too. You know what I'm saying? We're not here to ask no one, we're not here to ask no dumb ass questions. Two, we're not here to ask no salacious ass, you know what I'm saying? Nothing crazy and wild. We're here to give niggas good shit. And I think they like that. And they when they see that you like that, they begin to, you know, they trust you and that's how you you build that relationship. So I'm definitely happy with that, man. I wonder what they thought about uh or the orchard beach and wrong zoo uh comments. You think they believe me when I said that they were building a a Hilton on Orchard. I don't think they gave a fuck when <laughs> we're sitting there and they were like, "Really? The Bronx is really coming up." I ain't never about to stay in the the the, the Marriott in the Bronx. <laughs> Shit, me. <laughs> Listen, so if Becky, if Becky Lynch moves to City Island, you know, you know who planted those seeds. I can't even see Becky Lynch li living in City Island. That's too. I can see her living in Whitestone, Queens. There's a bunch of Irish people right there. That's like right before the bridge. Yeah, you City know? Island is mostly like Italians, like the people that actually live on there, like behind all the restaurants and everything. Yeah, she, she I can see her living on like White Stone. White Stone got mad Russians and mad uh, Irish people. <laughs> yeah. Russians, yeah. Irish, and Italians, Greeks, and all that. So that's a perfect, you feel me? If that's where she want to live, you feel me? Or she can move to, um, Hempstead is, is fire on the rise. That's up and coming. Come on, man. Listen, mm -hmm. there's places in the Bronx that she could she could live. 
Like oh River Park Towers, you know what I'm saying? Lovely view. I was not thinking too, more like 170. <laughs> not too far from Dykeman. Move, move to Castle Hill. No. <laughs> you know, these that, are places that, I grew up, you feel me? Yeah, now nah, look these places up. They're really uh they're on the uptick. Mm-hmm. Exotic type places, you know what I'm saying? I mean the atmosphere, all of that. Bro, if a polar bear can live in the Bronx, why can't Becky Lynch? <laughs> Got a point. R.I.P. Tundra. I was about to say that polar bear also doesn't exist anymore. So that's exactly why. It was it's one of the oldest polar bears to ever exist. They typically live around 25 years. That polar bear died at 27. Damn. Polar Bear in the 27 Club. Mm -hmm. It's just me and the polar bear right now. So I got like four more days to outlive that polar bear. <laughs> you are that. turning. Your, your birthday is coming up, right? Yeah, Sunday. I'm not sure about the age, but you know. I'm, 20, saying, so. I'm turning 28. So you say. It's when my uh my birth you you want to see my birth certificate? No, no I'm fine. It's bands. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Manny started talking about his age. I turned into Donald Trump. Like, where's that birth certificate? <laughs> like, nigga, let me see the proof. Nah, this is crazy. But yeah, man. Uh, I should say I am twelve. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we got. I really don't know what we have to cover. This this episode is a surprise to me. So, y'all in for a treat. And we gonna be tapped in, man. Before we move on to the next segment, man. If you got Google Podcasts, it's going away. Make sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what this is turning into. YouTube Music. I'm I'm seeing right now. But um, if you don't rock with that, then please, it's Spotify, it's other platforms that you can find us on. So okay. yeah. Make I sure put that up right there. Get y'all fixed, man. YouTube music. Banks actually be using YouTube. Banks been telling about YouTube music for like a year and a half now. And I just never tapped in. You so. just be listening to NBA Youngboy on there. <laughs> like this. And Rod Wave. <laughs> and That's Rival. Cool. All the retarded niggas. Niggas got you. Niggas don't be using YouTube music. Niggas be using YouTube, nigga. I do. I'm not even going to. I got premium, so that should be making the best mixes ever, to be honest. That ass. That's facts. You wanted them. <laughs> you, you, you. <laughs> <laughs> Do I got that? Oh, listen, man. I got I got Apple Music and YouTube Premium. So you feel me? We here. This nigga's balling. You heard? <laughs> well, with that being said, I guess we can move on. <laughs> All right, y'all, check it out. We got five Patreon tiers, okay? We have the dollar tier, which is just a dollar. It's a donation. We have the $5 tier, which is audio and Discord access. We have the $10 tier, which gets you audio, video, Discord access, and a discount on merch. And the $20 tier is for the ballers. You get all of that, plus you get to be on one of the shows. That's on the Patreon, all right? Subscribe to the Patreon today. Become a patron. I'm Eve, and I approve this message. You out. The Blocking Out Table. Mm, yes, sir, man. We getting right back into the swing of things, man. This is episode three thirty, Black and Out Stable podcast. Um, and get used to this drop too. I like your guys' style. Yeah, get used to that. Certified. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's kick things off. Hmm. hmm. I'm gonna save that one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save that one because we gonna get into that. We gonna get into that. Ooh man, let's matter of fact, let's start off with a video. How about that? I'm gonna play this video and I wanna hear you guys' thoughts. Well a girl beat my strip winning streak. What's what's that? A girl what? Beat my lose beat my undefeated streak. Oh, I didn't know that. What's the story there? Yeah, it's, I, I can't even remember. Asuka is her name, some Japanese girl. And they touted her as being the one to have the longest winning streak. And it just so happened that that culminated when I got there, right? And then it just so happened that every single 
wrestler uses the spear in their moves, right? <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Pretty ironic that that happened when I got there, right? So that's so, how they do. Did something happen when you when you got there that you think caused the the rub where they wanted to change the story? Was there one thing or do you think it was just kind of... No, the, of fact, it, yeah. the fact that I didn't get along with Paul Levesque, which is Vince's son-in-law, I think had everything to do with it when I um, yeah, listeners, that was Goldberg, and that was his thoughts on Oscar, Triple H, the Spear, all of that. Fellas, thoughts? I mean, <laughs> to be a CTE, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what it sounded like to me. I'm, I'm not even gonna hold you though. Like people brought up the the tweet that he sent where he congratulated Oscar and shit like that, but mm -hmm. to be honest, like if you told me that Goldberg had no idea who Oscar was and he just you know put out that tweet or somebody put the tweet out for him, I bet I bet he doesn't even know how to use Twitter. Like you know he's he's the dumb jock from the nineties. Like you know he he's not tech savvy, so. I mean, I'm I'm not shooting a bail. I just I honestly don't think he's ever seen an Oscar match. I think he knows exactly who Oscar is because you bringing it up like yo, you know they had this girl. I he I feel like he knows exactly who she is, and he just disrespecting her because his street. He he strikes me as that type, like a real like a jealous. Just one of them jealous old heads, you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, they, this girl done broke my street. They had this girl break my street, and don't you don't find it funny that ever since I came back, everybody uses spare now? It's like, nigga, what, are, did you invent the spare? Are you the maker of the spare, bro? Like, come on, man, let's let's be real. We need Antonio Brown to make them a cracker today for CTE SPN. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This this was bad, man. This this is bad because like you like you said they brought up the tweet, him, him um saying the street is in good hands, and Oscar took her moment. This was when Oscar had her moment. You know what I'm saying? It's like yeah, they bringing up Goldberg. I done passed the the streak and everything. She took a tweet out her day. They showing her love to be like yo Goldberg legend respect all of this what whatever she said. But she put a tweet out to him like you know what I'm saying showing love, yeah. and then you respond like that. And like now, years down the line, when you unhappy, because that's that's what it is. He's bitter about mm -hmm. something, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And and now this is how you how you go about things. Like this is corny. This is trash. With disrespect, like don't don't call her some some girl. Like come yeah. on, bro. like you know exactly who she is. She's a, a hall of famer at one of her careers. Matter if she's a hall of famer now, to be honest. But when when it's all said and done, she will be a hall of famer. She's had an amazing career. You feel me? She's an amazing talent still. And you calling her, oh, some girl broke my record. Like, nah, bro. Don't don't disrespect, bro. But I not once again, not to shoot him bail, but I think that number one, I think he was talking to somebody who doesn't know anything about wrestling. So I don't know what the context was before, but like the guy had no idea who he was talking about, or really, to be honest, what the fuck he was talking about. So Goldberg, I think he was just trying to, you know, you know, say it in layman's term or, or some shit like that. Because I'm not going to, you know, expect the guy who smashes his head into a locker before every match to, you know, be politically correct in everything that he says. So that's why I saw this. And I was like, I it really doesn't matter. Like the dude, the dude has fucking grits for brains. Like it's whatever. <laughs> yeah, nah, Goldberg, you hating man. It's all it comes down to like yeah. like what uh, Cody said. Whatever he better about, he just I don't know. No, whatever question bro asked him, that shit must have just triggered him and he Yeah. That nigga just decided to go off. He, he aired out all his grievances. He he was like, Bro, everybody got a spear. It's like, all right, bro. You weren't even the only person using the spear at your time. I didn't even ask you nothing about the WWE. I asked, <laughs> you, I asked you what you thought about Prime, Coach Prime. Nigga, you talking about? Yeah, his son is 
which is so crazy to me, bro. I remember watching his son awkwardly topless on in the ring, and now he now he plays for Prime. <laughs> Nigga said his son was topless. Come Remember on. he just took his shirt off for no reason. <laughs> Swag, nigga. Word, nigga, my daddy Goldberg, man. Nah, if, <laughs> if Triple H is a real one, he'll get Shane's son to beat the fuck out of Goldberg's son. One v one. I was about to say Triple H don't got a son of his own. Nah, nope. Fortunately, what what's up with that? I feel like all of like our '90s idols don't have sons. It's mostly dog. Like Jeter just got a son. Jeter, Kobe, A Rod, <laughs> Triple H. Look now, my oh, you almost had me. Tiger Woods until he got a son. Tiger Woods son, L too. Yeah, hey, Tiger Woods son, nice. His name Charlie. I'm like, yeah. What's yeah. his son? I was about to call a nigga lion or some shit. <laughs> lion. <laughs> well, yo, Tiger Woods. What's your son name? Lion Woods. <laughs> Cheetah. <laughs> Cheetah Woods. Yo, I hate you. Panther Woods. Yo, y'all are stupid. <laughs> but it's looking like, you know, the next generation of like the people we looked up to, it's going to be a bunch of like daughters of that generation. I mean, that's cool too. Yeah, I'm not mad at that, to be honest. I'm just saying. Feel me? I'll take it. Yeah. So yeah, man. Shouts out to Oscar. Let's shit. You know what I'm saying? We usually give shout outs to who we talking about. Nah, we not we not doing that for Goldberg. Shout out to Oscar. Shout, out, shout to Oscar. out to Bret Hart. I bet he's sitting he's sitting around smiling like I told y'all niggas, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, nigga Bret Hart in the crib like <laughs> look, 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 look. <laughs> I told y'all that boy. I told I told y'all that. that nigga Goldberg green. <laughs> nigga, bro, I'm talking like that, man. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> that boy <laughs> isn't Goldberg from Atlanta too. Word. Swag. That boy Billy Goldberg. I told that boy Billy Green, man. Billy. <laughs> <laughs> William. <laughs> Billy. <laughs> Yo, man. Speaking of bitter people. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I mean, is she is she wrong? Man, I man, I mean, she's probably wrong for saying the n word. <laughs> <laughs> she she's Trini. Come on, she's <laughs> look, man. Rhonda's going on a press press run right now, man, and she she letting everything fly. So. Rhonda, Rhonda is hip to news that we been new. Like, like ma, you ain't saying nothing earth shattering when you talk about they hiring women. When I think she said about Tiffany Stratton or something mm-hmm. like that, they hired her. Bait. I'm like, fam, <laughs> like you got to catch up. <laughs> like you just now catching on to this B. But I, I, I listen. Uh, we're not, let's not even say what she said about that, but. Cause I mean, come on, we need we need Tiffany Stratton on here. I I so like especially in the in the group chats because we've been talking about this you know all week or whenever she started doing her rollout, and y'all are blaming her when in reality it's you really got to blame the people. That's funny if your name, you got to blame the people asking the questions, like she's not giving these responses if the questions are good. But, you know, they're asking her the basic questions, and th- th- these are the answers you're going to get. Like, uh, all the answers, she's saying everything we've already heard, we already thought. She's not fucking creating the wheel with anything she's saying. But, True. you know, if those are the questions you're being asked, wh- what do you expect? That's why, Rhonda, we need you. You know, I'm wearing the colors, black and red today, you feel me? <laughs> Salute. <laughs> Ronda Rousey is crashing out before our very eyes, man. And <laughs> for a book, bro. I, do you even know the name of her book? Yeah, it's called The Ronda. <laughs> Not your average, average, average girl. Bro, Ronda is crashing out, son. And it's crazy because, like, I don't want to say it. Nah, I, I was a fan of Ronda. I'm not going to lie. But 
I just don't like to see like after the fact, like I don't know. I just feel like everything she's saying, granted, it's pointed at Vince, and like I, I kind of don't care, but it's like I don't know. She just seems like Goldberg. Like it just seemed mad bitter. Like I don't know where. <clears throat> but are you all right, all right, all right? So we we know that she was in the Vince era, like to you know, she she had Vince as her boss. Can you blame her for being bitter? If we all know what type of person he was, I no, we can't, we can't blame him. But I think the reason why we get this, I think, is because she came back, she had a second run. You know what I'm saying? This, this, see, this is why, this is why I would want to, this is why I would want to talk to her. To, to get answers to questions like that, like, why would you come back? Why would you go to Saudi? Like, what is the decision making behind going to Saudi Arabia if you already don't agree with their practices? Like, the, these these are the, these are the real questions that nobody's asking her that can only be answered here. Because to be honest, she's, <laughs> I'm telling you, we're... we're She's not wrong in what she says. Yeah, I don't want to have a crash out. Yo, I'm telling you, bro, like, you not wrong. But I don't want Rhonda to crash out on our show, bro. Like, and then, then we just don't put it out. Then we look, look crazy. You know what I'm saying? I think, I think, I think this plays a small part into it, what I'm about to say. It's how her her second run went. I think honestly, do I think Ronda really cares? No, she was getting paid, and then that's probably why. Like she was she was getting paid. Probably she can. That's why she came back for the second run. Like you 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 knew this shit. Like you know what I'm saying. But like how how that second run went. That second run was fucking garbage, bro. Oh, well, uh, what was, did she do a mania in her second run? Yeah. What uh, what was the mania that she did? I don't remember. I can't like. I don't remember the timeline. Did she face Charlotte? Oh, I'm bugging. Didn't she, she was in a tag. Was yeah. was it Alexa Bliss in that match or something? Mm-mm. It was uh, wasn't it her and Shayna versus uh, um, damn. <laughs> it was yeah. a multiple woman tag match. Oh yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, it was, it was, it was. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm over here scratching my brain. Like that, w- that wasn't the one where like Alexa Bliss fake broke her arm and then she just like held it because she's like double jointed or whatever. Nah, Alexa Bliss ain't been here in like two years, bro. She been pregnant. She ain't been pregnant for two years, but she she had a baby and everything. Huh. I thought her pig died, and she's still grieving it or something. Man, I ain't gonna hold you, Rhonda. You can you can miss me with this shit, boy. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, I I, I haven't heard nothing about the book. I don't even know what the book is titled. You feel me? All I literally every Rhonda clip or it's like um article that I've seen is like, I hate Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon was a piece of shit. This, that, and the third. And it's like, I like <laughs> okay. Like we've been but how is that crashing out? If an interviewer is asking you, hey, what was it like under Vince's regime when you were there? Because it's a popular the- topic. Yeah, she's not saying all these things unprovoked. Okay, so last the last WrestleMania was the multi tag. The WrestleMania thirty eight, she faced Charlotte. All right, I gotta look at these on. Let me see what's her her latest interview. On the Rousey, let me see. She talking about Charlotte threw her dick on the table, made that match longer. Like, uh, yeah, I respect it. That's what you should do. Yeah, shouts out to, shouts out to Charlotte. Why you? I mean, Rhonda, you could have did the same thing. Like you, you know what I'm I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if Rhonda has the same pull as a Charlotte in that sense. I think Rhonda should have more pull than Charlotte. To be honest with you, like, do you think who do you think has more pull? Uh, a Goldberg or Brock Lesnar? Oh, that's Brock. Easy though. Yeah, Brock got the pull, man. So, wouldn't it be the same, like, reverse, like, opposite genders, like, with the Charlotte and the Ronda? 
I see what you're saying, but I don't. I don't think so. Like I, I, I feel like Ronda could have say in certain things, but you know, like when it's somebody like a Charlotte who is a like a pillar of the company, you gotta you gotta rock with what they're saying because you gotta keep them happy for the long term. Well, Brock is Brock a different beast, but yeah, yeah. Ronda could have been a different beast too if she wasn't on TV all the fucking time. They made her normal. She was after a while. It was like, oh, whatever. It's Ronda. Liv Morgan. You know what I'm saying like, you know, it wasn't. It wasn't nothing special about Ronda Rousey after a while, man. That's a fact. So, or in the words of Funk Flex, who you gonna blame, me or yourself? <laughs> All of the work I'm doing to try to get a Ronda interview. Do y'all man. Know that shit? Manny, the only one really going off. I'm, it, Ronda. Bro, I'm, I'm telling you. I'm kind of cool off the Ronda shit. It would be gonna, a talk of a life. It's going to be a one-on-one sit down. Manny and Ronda, because uh, and I'm here for it, but <laughs> uh, you got that one, Chief. Hell yeah. KP, make it happen. Or I'm going to just be in there making funny faces. like hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying things like perhaps. Or precisely. <laughs> At least you're going to be in there. I'm gonna be sleep, nigga. <laughs> Knocked out. <laughs> it's gonna be four o'clock in the afternoon. I'll just see it when it come out when KP put it up. <laughs> like, oh, all right, y'all did that. <laughs> you know, the mad negative reaction to shit. Everything we work mad hard to build. Everything comes crumbling down because Rondo on the show. That's Mandy, like Mandy talking jerk chicken with Rhonda for 15 minutes straight. <laughs> like, man. So Rhonda, first question is it. <laughs> Goat curry or curry goat? <laughs> she gonna close her laptop. <laughs> no. yeah, great interview, guys. That went well. Um, Doubles. What are your thoughts? So look, man. All right, I guess I guess we got it. We 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 good on that. We can move on. Yeah. All right, man. Where we want to go from here? Um, I didn't see the Rhea Ripley on the Logan Paul's podcast but, is um, it is it officially out i will and that's it's not a code came out today. okay oh, it came out today all right yeah, so yeah i seen, I seen like, like, well, no nah, i was just saying i seen like 20 i didn't see the whole thing i seen a little bit of it but mm-hmm. uh from what i seen like there was only for, in like the first 20 minutes they was talking about like her relationship with buddy um you know what shit like that like what that's like her growing up and shit like that. I didn't get to see too much yet. Did you see her um, Mount Rushmore? No, I didn't get that far. Well, they asked her about her women's wrestlers Mount Rushmore. Mm. Is that Becky? Who is that? That's Charlotte? Charlotte, Bianca, and Becky. And Rhea. That's her Mount Rushmore. Why look like Charlotte box braids? Yeah, that that threw me off for a second too. It's only it's only the braids in the front. Well, who the fuck? Who am I looking at? I mean, I'm not, I'm not mad at uh that list. It's very millennial. Are not like it's it's a good list if you've never watched wrestling before 2013. I ain't mad at this list because she had good matches with Charlotte. She gonna have a good match with. I feel like these are the shorties that she she did she face Bianca. Yeah, a bunch well, of times. Well, Remember, they, they fought each other in like a rumble. They fought each other. No, nah, I mean like one on one, like at a mania. Not at mania, like you know. Was one-on-one. it at Evolution? Did they face each other in like an Evolution or something? I can't remember that far. Oh, I know they did face in the in the rumble. They they were like the last two, but um. Oh, they just teased it a bunch of times. Yeah, hmm. I'm, I'm not mad at that list though. But I mean, so Trish and Lita. Having yourself in there, that's definitely a choice. I like I mean, it. She, she's a, she's a heel at the end of the day. Oh, <laughs> current day, current day. All right, that makes sense. Oh, oh I, well, even either way, she like 24, 25. So either way, I mean, I am mad. Those those aren't probably on my current day. If I had to make a current day Mount Rushmore. Uh oh. <laughs> Mine would be Jakara Jackson, 
Tiffany right. Stratton. Uh, what's her name that went to LSU? Angel Reese. Jada Parker. Jada Parker. And, <laughs> and Lash Legend. Damn. Who would my current day Mount Rushmore would be? Current. Definitely got to be Bianca. Definitely got to be Jade without even wrestling a match. That some is. people is some people is just so good. You just gotta put them. She got that aura. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Some people is just yo. This the aura just carries you to a different level. That scene at that Hawks game, boy. She was. It was at a Hawks game, bro. They were losing. <laughs> they were losing by thirty to the Celtics. Came back and won. I, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't know what game that could have been a Harlem Globetrotters game. <laughs> She was looking so damn good. <laughs> they they seen in the crowd. They were like, "Wait, hold up." What's his name? The the uh, that was with the Spurs, and now he's with the Hawks. Who? Murray. Dejounte. Yeah, Dejounte Murray saw he was like, <laughs> "I can't <laughs> shoot." I gotta drop fifty. Yeah, nah. Uh, so Jade, Bianca, and then I'm gonna go. Uh, Charlotte. And I'm gonna have to go. Uh, I'm gonna have to go. Here it comes. Huh? I'm about to be triggered. I already. All right, you know what? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna put Sasha in there, <laughs> and I'm gonna put Becky in the underneath, like honorable mention on the Mount Rushmore. I'm gonna put Jade. You feel me? Jay got to get a little shine too, man. Because like I said, Jay ain't oh, what? Because the did you not see had that Harlem Globetrotters game, nigga? <laughs> like, come on, man. Atlanta <laughs> Hawks. Same Hawks difference. Or Globetrotters Hawks, Guangdong Tigers, nigga. Don't matter, bro. <laughs> nigga, the Roosevelt Rowdy Rebels. It don't. It don't matter. Nigga. <laughs> it don't matter what. Game she was at, nigga. She was fine stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Rowdy rebel. <laughs> I, I need. I need. I need to see who her friend was. TBH. <laughs> That's not an ill team name. The, the Rowdy, Brooklyn, Re- the Brooklyn Rowdy Rebels. <laughs> the, the Rowdy Rebels. <laughs> Is it Roosevelt shit? Is the Rebels or some shit? I think it is the rebel. It's not the rowdy rebels. I think it's the rebels. Huh? Uh, rowdy rebels. That's funny, <laughs> man. That Mount Rushmore is ass. He, I'm sorry, bro. Yeah. My full OG. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta play so. <laughs> gotta hit so. You know what I'm saying? Just can't hear me laughing. <laughs> All right, man. Oh, shouts out shit. to shouts out to Eve um women's current day Mount Rushmore. Manny, I we we heard yours. Um <laughs> hey. Wasn't valid? No. Oh. <laughs> Seemed valid to me. <laughs> yeah. You don't got one? You don't got a Mount Rushmore? Nah, I don't. I really it's don't. even worse. Or this nigga don't part. I'm talking. Yeah, now hold on. Now now, now I gotta now, I, I got to now. I'm talking all this shit. So look, going Bianca. Becky, Charlotte, Jade. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. And Jane of Fire, Mercedes, Sasha Banks. Yeah. See, said the same shit, man. No, he didn't. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> Down the leaf, we make a little space. I guess, man. I guess, man. Um, this is why I'm here for. This is exactly why I'm here for, man. Monday Night Raw. Oh One yeah, the... man. Let's 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 talk. My brother, do you, do you have that Joe button? Let's talk about it for a little bit. Drop. Oh yeah, it's somewhere in here, man. Boy, here we go. Let's let's talk about let's talk about it for a little bit. <laughs> Play that one more time. <laughs> let's talk about it for a little bit. 
Yo, when I tell you Heat Rock, man. Brother, from start to finish, beginning to end. In Chicago, niggas had CM Punk. Oh my gosh, The Rock. Oh my goodness, Drew McIntyre. Brother, niggas had Ricochet versus JD McDonough acting ass. <laughs> Yo. Son, when I tell you niggas was acting unusual in the spot, shit was crazy. And the funny thing is, Chicago, like, Chicago is just a wrestling city. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was going to say, you know what, this, this is AEW turf. But WWE came in there was like, yo, this is old block? More like no block if you ask me. Like, Bruh, I, I, yo, when when they when they put out the release that said we had to open up sections just so like no no visible you can't even see the the, the ring from these seats, but they just the essence. That's when I knew AEW doesn't stand a chance. It's all up, bro. Sometimes it's all about the vibe. You can't see shit. I can't see nothing. I'm here, but I'm in the building, though. I'm, I'm vibing out. You feel me? Nigga, the rock music hits. That's all I... F- <laughs> That's all I feel in my bloodstream, brother. The mana is flowing. <laughs> Man. Speaking of the mana, listen. Yo, in the out. Barclays. Yeah, I was about to say they're gonna be in the Barclays Center on Monday. What is... y'all want to go? I I was waiting to ask y'all so we could cop the tickets. I t- I, I thought y'all were gonna reach out and try to try to get a source. Yeah, I tried to, but unfortunately, the source only works for Brooklyn Nets games. <laughs> so unless the Rock plans on wearing a, a Mikel Bridges jersey and shooting hoops, it's unlikely that we. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm saying ah, fine. All right, so so we down. Hell as long yeah. as we don't, as long as we don't sit in the two hundreds, I'm out. Right. No two hundreds, no two. I ain't trying to die. The rock gonna be in the building, bro. When the rock music hits, the the mana, <laughs> the mana's gonna be flowing. Bro. Nah, I might have to bring a bottle of mana just to <laughs> terror mana. <laughs> I'm gonna take two bottles and smash them together like Stone Cold. You know what? Let's look up the. Let's look up the the seats right now on SeatGeek. Use my twenty percent off coupon with promo with promo code BAT Pod. <laughs> my <Andrew>. Cuomo, <laughs> not the Andrew Cuomo code. Listen, no. I'm not. <laughs> it wasn't sexual harassment. I'm just Italian. <laughs> Yo, nigga said the Cuomo code. Fam, Man. I'm not gonna hold you. WWE. 11 straight TV sellouts. Niggas is on fire. Like Sold you said, you seen, the, you seen the goddamn, the set, that weak ass set, because they got niggas behind the damn set trying to see it. Like, niggas don't see nothing, bro. It's just like, yo. And I'm like, <laughs> niggas said the weak ass. <laughs> that set was the tiniest hell, nigga. That what? shit was like my room, nigga. That shit was, that shit was like, Look, <laughs> I'm just saying this is like, like the thing that had like we we gonna get to all the, the like the main shit, but like the thing like the in ring action, the matches and shit though, like these niggas went out there like the the talent that's on the roster, bro. J D McDonough and Ricochet, like. Sami Zayn and Bronson Reed, like these, are not even the big names, and they going out there. This is one of the best roles of the fucking year, like in a long time, bro. Amen. Like the end ring was on point, boy. These segments was fucking going crazy. Like, Yo, like this shit is heat. He from start to finish, bro. <laughs> Niggas, CM Punk came out talking that sweet shit, man. Then Drew McIntyre comes out. He he's on one, bro. My boy Drew 
sitting down Indian style on the desk oh. on the table. Oh, my fault. Crisscross applesauce. You know what I'm saying? Sitting down on the table. I'm like, yo, they they going back and forth, having they they one two their argument. My boy Drew was like, yo, I'm I'm the chosen one. That boy Punk was like, and, and who called you that? <laughs> like, who named you that? I was like, boy, make a crack, Drew. Drew was laughing. <laughs> nah, they going crazy. But this, this right here is what it's all about, brother. This right here, the mana was flowing th- through everybody last night, bro. That's what we wanted to see. That's what I like to see. You feel me? Yo, that Monday Night Raw is all about. Yo, that segment sign, Drew McIntyre. Let me give you, let me show you some love real quick. Because, fam, like I said, like I went back before I was watching Eli Drake and, um, TNA, like mm-hmm. I was, I wanted to see his reign. I think I mentioned that like on the pod before, and like when because he was in a in a group with Drew McIntyre at the time, mm-hmm. and Drew was on there cutting his promo with them, and I'm like, fam, Drew is out here stinking it up. He let this nigga we don't even know get on the microphone. He sound way more entertaining than everything. I mean, LA Knight is like you know what I'm saying, LA Knight, but at the time it's just like, damn, your mic skills is like, and Drew's mic skills hasn't been like crazy. But him going back and forth with CM Punk of all people, son, holding his doing more than holding his own. Yeah. All right, yeah, we got to You got to This is the guy. You put the title on him now, nigga. We might as well. What Logan Paul doing with his title? You got a double title. Put all the titles on this nigga, man. <laughs> like, fam, what he's doing, what he went out there, that shit was insane. And Seth, boy, when Seth can music hit. I was like, damn, Seth about to come and fuck it all up, man. I was like, damn. But no, Seth was there. I'm like, yeah. That segment for me, man, one of the best segments I've seen in a long time, bro. Hell yeah. Not not only, bro, like I said, everybody was on point. Not only, you talking about the performers, they was on point, bro. The crowd, everybody was into it, son. Everybody in that crowd was into it, bro. They chanting CM Punk. They singing Seth Rollins music. They are, them niggas don't know what to do. Like, yo, I, yeah. we just here for a good time. We just, we vibing out. And that's what I like. That's what I love, in fact. This is the game I love. You feel me? Oh, Manny, man. do you have any updates on uh, on tickets? Um, I was looking. <laughs> Listen, I've been, I've been dialed in looking for these tickets. Everything right now, as of right now, is official pl- platinum only on Ticketmaster. Uh, which means that uh, it's part of their monopoly that they have on ticket reselling. They just resell their own tickets. So we're going to wait till Friday. SeatGeek, listen, $20 ain't going to help what they're selling them for on SeatGeek because they are head cracking. They know we want to see the mana and <laughs> they they know they, they, they're not taking seven bucks. Yeah, not a man. Hold on, I might have to. Uh, you know, we'll discuss it off here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was sitting here. I was like, "Fuck!" <laughs> I knew something was up with this nigga. Man, he ain't say nothing in five minutes. Word. <laughs> Damn, we don't got no, no updates coming. But what? What do you, I? I really would want to know, like, what inspired Drew McIntyre to be the way he is now. Mm. What do you like, mean? Because the the way he is on social media and stuff like that, somebody has to be helping him. There's no way this is just him. Oh, yeah. I, Not- I know I joked before saying that it was ugly New York running his account. <laughs> but I don't know. Like, whoever, whoever helped him to make this change, unless he's just really in tune with black Twitter memes, like, he's he's killing it. Man, so it, it kind of makes me wonder what his 2020 reign would have been with a crowd. Not this. Yeah, you, was, you because, think it'd be worse? Nah, it's like well, it yeah, it'll be it'll be it'll be worse. Like mm-hmm. with the, nah, it like it it his 
it's it's not even that. It's not even the crowd for me. It's who's in charge. Like as we seen by like this segment, like a lot of this shit was off the cuff. Like niggas was just like you would hear thing like the CM Punk saying like who chose you all of this stuff like mm -hmm. punk just doing random shit that's not in the script like and it all like but it just all clicked like all three of those guys everything just clicked and they have that reign to go off the cuff now triple h back there chilling nigga. he just yeah. putting shit in motion he's not on their ass like vince is it's just like fam we having fun out here let's go out here and make like they see they see the attendance they know they doing big business and triple mm -hmm. h like yo let's go out here and have some fun and that's what it felt like to me I'm I'm just glad that Drew is keeping like keeping that same energy off off like offline. Yeah. Like, you know, he has really good comebacks and everything like that on Twitter and and everywhere else. But the fact that he's able to to do it in promos as well, that's really like prolonging all of this and helping his cause. Oh yeah. Flex bomb for shit, flex bomb for Monday Night Raw, man. Oh, hold on, cause we we ain't even get to the mana. Hold on, hold on, bro. So Cody Cody comes out beginning of the night. He talking to the crowd. He's like, "Yo, man, if y'all want to see me do my thing at WrestleMania, I need all y'all to put your fingers in the sky and point to this WrestleMania sign. You feel me? And I need y'all to, to to let the mana flow for me. You know what I'm saying? Cool. The Rock comes out. Roy walks to the ring. Look, Cody rose up and down. Ain't say shit to him. Just walked out the ring. I'm like, all right, man. What, what's this nigga on? Bro, end of the night. Them boys is scrapping. Ending the show. I'm like, yeah, we we here. You feel me? This this is this is how it's supposed to be. You feel me? Because we ain't seen really and truly. We haven't seen shit from these guys you feel me it's been weeks the rock doing a rock concert you know just mad silly shit it fucking twitter promos shit we really don't care about you know what i'm saying but now it's time we, we see an actual physicality yes. So, oh, ah yes this is i could i could get i could get jiggy with this you feel me some physicality nigga rock pull up Nigga beating the sh dog shit out of Cody Rhodes. <laughs> nigga threw a trash can at this nigga like he Donkey Kong. All that threw two trash cans at him. Honestly, <laughs> threw the nigga outside. Nigga, they go outside. I'm thinking this, but it's Chicago. I'm like, damn, it's freezing. Nah, nigga, it's it's raining. Nigga, <laughs> it's cold. This nigga rock outside in a vest and glasses <laughs> in the dark and <laughs> raining outside. I'm like, nah. What is this? Bro, nigga the rock punching this nigga in the ribs, pulling the shirt over his head, <laughs> doing all types of silly shit. I'm like, nah, this shit is funny, son. He was calling him boy the entire time. Like this nigga, yo, deep down, the rock is Republican, bro. I want y'all to know that before you vote for him in a few years. He's running red. <laughs> Somebody said why somebody said why did him calling Cody boy feel racist? I'm sitting there, I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> you didn't get that vibe? I mean <laughs> oh, so you did. Yeah, I got I, I did too. I ain't going with you. I'm wearing that Terramana red right now. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Yo. Fam. The Rock out there cursing up a storm. I'm like, yo, this is what I love, man. He, he read the tweets from Dave Meltzer saying that the the the, the stockholders want them to curse less. Nigga said, "Word, fuck you." <laughs> <laughs> this nigga said, "This was what happens when you fuck with the final." I was like, yo, like, fam, like this it. is it. Spit Wait, on this nigga. <clears throat> Imagine a stockholder being like, hey, guys, calm down with the language, please. <laughs> Man, nigga, this is WWE. That's... You grab the nigga by the collar and throw him out the window. <laughs> Do we have the tweet from the grandma? The grandma? Oh. What, you, what you talking about, Manny? It went viral this morning. Well, what was it? It was a legit grandma? Mm -hmm. 
what she say? She was like, y'all, uh, y'all boys cussing too much. I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna send it to the BAT uh, Twitter. There we go. Shouts out to B to the BAT Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Mm. We got to have a reference every once in a while. Why why y'all doing that? It wouldn't be a weekly show without Seth Rollins getting buried though. Like it wouldn't be. It, it wouldn't be like you know what I'm saying. This goes back to the Cody segment, nigga. Cody like yo. I only act like the champion because the champion isn't here. Meanwhile, Seth Rollins in the back eating a turkey sandwich just looked at the monitor like, <laughs> fam, I'm right here, bro. Like, it's like, damn, son. Man, or not you. I mean, a real champion. <laughs> she was just smiling. You sent it, Manny? I'm looking for it now. Hold on. All right. <clears throat> but yeah, now nah, back to the rock, man. Hey. Oh, l- let me tell y'all what, what my theory is. Austin the group chat. No, no, nah, nah. I put in the group chat. I was like, I think I, f- I finally probably made sense of this shit because everybody talked to so to me, and I, I might be on my Dave Meltzer shit. Feel me? I put on my my Tim Four hat. You just making something up? Yeah, I'm I'm sh- I'm shooting darts here. <clears throat> so everybody wants this. Make it even more official with this pen. So everybody wants it to be the Rock versus Roman Reigns. That's what they want the story to be. But that that ain't the story, though. You feel me? This whole shit has not been about The Rock and Roman Reigns. You feel me? That's just the... That's the dummy. The real shit is The Rock versus Cody. You feel me? That's really what it's all about. You feel me? We ain't getting no interaction between The Rock and Roman... I mean... We barely got interaction between the Rock and Roman Reigns. Barely got interaction between Rock and uh, Roman and Cody. You feel me? We had the little the segment last week. That was a little. You feel me? Trash. It was. I thought it was fine. I didn't think it was. It was. To me, here's my thing with that. If we doing Rock, I mean, if we doing Roman versus Cody, they should have been doing that. You know what I'm saying? They should have been had that kind of interaction weeks ago. Matter of fact, Roman should have been talking more weeks ago. But that was the most I heard Roman talk in like five, six weeks. Now, wow. Eve, you want to know how I know that you're onto something? Go ahead. Uh, I'm at work today, right? Chilling. Right. Doing right. doing doing what I gotta do at my at my at my job. And I see uh there's a a, a woman and a man walking down the hall, and they're like, Hey, did you see Raw yesterday? And this is like two professionals, like doctor hmm. talking to another doctor. And they're talking about Raw. And she goes, I don't want to see Roman and, and Cody anymore. I want to see Roman and The Rock. So when you just said that right now, I'm like, is this what they want? Like, Bro. do they want us to want to change from Roman, Co- yeah, Roman Cody to Roman Rock? I mean, Cody Rock? I think this is what it's all about. I think this whole shit is to build to Cody versus The Rock. Because think about it, my brother. Let me take you on a journey. How do, how do we get there? If Roman Reigns has this championship for four plus years, five plus years, to lose to a Cody Rhodes. Because he won the rumble, and granted, to me, I I want the nigga to lose. Don't don't get it twisted. Roman, I think four years is that's crazy. Mm. You feel me? Don't get it twisted. However, we need somebody that is legitimate. This nigga gotta be the this nigga. No man, bro, you gotta beat the ultimate dude. If they building Cody versus Rock. And Cody beats The Rock. It's like, yo, this nigga. Who, who has the title in this match? It's not for a title, bro. Oh, just to do it? Yeah, bro. This is because mm-hmm. remember, The Rock is in the way. The Rock is, the Rock is literally the 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 barricade between Cody and you know what I'm saying. This nigga's been saying, yo, I'm gonna I'm gonna do everything I can to stop you. This, that, and the third. All right, cool. You feel me? He calls himself the final boss. All right. The Rock is literally Roman's last line of defense. So it's like, I, 
I defeat this nigga. There's nothing to stop, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, all right. Once once Cody defeats The Rock, he's made. You feel me? Him defeating Roman, it's like, it's a plus. It's like, all right, cool. But it kind of, you know, he beats The Rock. It's like, oh, all right, he's a made man. This nigga beats one of the greatest of all time. Now he beats fucking Roman Reigns, wins the championship off Roman. You feel me? And then from there, they could probably spin Roman a rock like, you let this nigga get, you feel me? You let him take that championship off you? Now Roman looking at rock like, you let him beat you to get to me? You feel me? I mean, there's ways they could go about it. But I feel like Cody versus the rock is the real shit. You feel me? So this whole time, I'm like, yo, why doesn't this shit make sense? Because the whole time, it's Cody versus the rock that needs to happen. Oh, that's probably going to happen later down the line. Maybe next year. I don't know. But to me, that's what makes sense. Is Cody versus The Rock. Think about Cody. is all about the underdog. He need triumph. The nigga needs to get his ass beat. He loves to bleed. Come on, man. The nigga taking shots at his dog, his mom. Cody yeah. versus The Rock needs to be it, bro. That's yeah, worse. Take a shot every time Eve says Cody versus The Rock. Sorry, Cody. <laughs> we we got to go. Wheat leave vodka. Yes. Yeah. And mana. <laughs> Mix the two. Oh, the shit. vodka with the mana. I, I feel like I feel like you, that would make sense if we was getting Rock and Cody on night one. And then night two, he can go on and face Roman. And then your story would make sense. Here's the thing about that's this. what I that's what I'm thinking, Cody. Like, because it's like, how do you go from here to there to then Roman? Bro, this is you gotta think about how these niggas is playing this game, bro. It's a long game they playing. The nigga Roman Reigns is like, yo, we in the third inning last year. I'm like, third <laughs> inning, it's been four years. <laughs> third inning. Uh, Y'all niggas love this drawn out shit. Y'all love calling it cinema. It's gonna be drawn out. <laughs> I haven't heard the word cinema in, in some time. Yeah, since probably the last time Mouse was here. I know. But <laughs> this is what is this is what it is. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna drag it out. The rock probably gonna go off, do a movie, do some type of shit. But from the looks of it, it looked like he's here to, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to say here to stay, but it looks like he's gonna be around. You know what I'm saying? So you have this. Let's let's build it. You know what I'm saying? We got the pieces. Let's do the right thing, guys. That is my that's my Meltzer, my Meltzer uh thought of the day. I respect it. I respect it. I just I just left wanting Rock and Cody. Like, damn, like the like 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 the the promo segment like you mentioned on on SmackDown that was underwhelming to me, mm-hmm. and it's just like cool. It's just you go from that, and then I tune in Monday and Rock and Cody doing this shit. It's they just like on. fam, yeah. Forget Rock and Roman. I, this is what I want for real. Exactly. It's just like I mean, hey, that's that's one way to get us excited for our main event night two. Yeah. I mean, see now if like, I see Rock versus Roman, like I. Right. Maybe if I seen Rock and Roman throwing blows, pause if need be. You feel me? If if I seen them uh, shaking, you feel me? I blah. Like, right, I could I could get into this, but the fact, bro, the Rock made this nigga bleed. Took the he took the mama uh the mama rose belt off, smeared blood over it. I was like, yeah, see. And then I thought he was gonna throw him over to like the the cliff or whatever that shit was. Mm. I was like, yo, Rock, please throw this nigga off this shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Rock, please, nigga. OG, OG, if you fuck with me, OG, you throw this nigga off this bitch. <laughs> if, if he was fighting Stone Cold, he would have thrown Stone Cold off the cliff. Yeah. <laughs> Feel me? But, hey. Oh, did you find the, the grandma shit? Hey, I sent it to the uh, DM. All right, let's see. The grandma shit. <laughs> oh man shout yeah. out to Wrestlemania shouts to David Hudgens I'm going to put this tweet on the screen 
also. Matter of fact, I was gonna be like my fault for shouting out your government name, but not. Nah, I you... went on her Twitter just now, and she's a wild conspiracy theorist, right wing, <laughs> insane. It's that. probably yeah, exactly. Mm. Oh, see, I'm not gonna read it. I uh, uh, at WWE at Triple H. That was the most disgusting display I have ever seen. The Rock may have done that crap in the early days of his career but it is just unnecessary violence that made my husband switch channels. This is not the WWE that I want my grandson to watch. Hmm. Well, go, go look at look at the uh, the DM. <laughs> the, the the reply it was enough to make the person delete <laughs> the uh, the tweet. She deleted it? Yeah, she deleted the tweet. She said, your grandson can't handle the mana. Off is the direction you can fuck. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. Well, her grandson was probably sitting at the TV just. (laughs) Goosebumps. Word. (laughs) Little nigga lit. (laughs) They're bringing the aura back. When you have to sneak to watch wrestling, it's Mm -hmm. real. Wow. Goosebumps. Wow. That was me the first time I went out post COVID. I was like, <laughs> Goosebumps. First time I walked in the Mystic Lounge, I was like, Yo, they're playing March Madness. <laughs> man, that's a whole nother story for me, man. Them, <laughs> them quarantine days, man. I was reminiscing some good times, man. Oh, man. I'll tell that story probably next yeah. week. Yeah. <laughs> It was a time, though, I went to an underground spot in Brooklyn at 5 a.m. And I thought I lost my phone. I'm mad. I'm twisted in the spot. I thought I lost my phone. Meanwhile, it was in the front pocket of my fucking coat. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm in a club walking up to niggas drunk like, yo, yo, OG, you see my phone, bro? Grabbing niggas like this. I'm like, yo, you see my phone? Niggas looking at me up and down. Might shoot me. Man, look. If you've seen it, just let me know. My sister was like, nigga, your phone's right here. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> let's get out of here before they kill us. <laughs> oh, man. Shouts to Monday Night Raw, man. That right there is real TV. You gotta go. Yo, has Monday Night Raw ever won an Emmy? No. No? Can mm-hmm. they win? I think I think they've just started like getting nominated and shit like that. For like segments, right? Promos and shit. I'm not sure for what, but I do remember like they were like sending people like recently, like within the last couple years. Hmm. Like as representatives, like they sent like a Bianca Belair and shit like that. So like the the nominee lunch luncheon or whatever they do. Hmm. Yo, I'll say the one thing. For that, for the rocking Cody Rhodes, for that the way they close that show, I I need an Emmy for that right there, man. Mm. Real shit. <clears throat> uh, what else we got, Cody? Um, let's see. We have the return. Indies aren't real. Ah, mm. yeah. I like that. I like that. <laughs> let's get into it. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. 
They went crazy. <laughs> Yo, shouts to my African niggas, soft mud wrestling or whatever y'all call yourselves, man. I think, I think actually, it is soft mud wrestling. Don't yeah, I, yeah, I think I'm playing. It's soft mud. You feel me? It's soft ground. Yeah, my fault. Soft mud, soft ground. <laughs> <laughs> Soft mud, soft ground, tomato, tomato. Yo, I seen one of the boys. Yo, one of the homies took a power bomb, bro. It was like a sit out power bomb. Yo, we got to get y'all some mats, man. No, we need to get them some ropes. That too. The I'm tired of them with the little thread. <laughs> the turnbuckle, boy, yo, bro, climb like it was like a bamboo ladder. And did a, a clean frog splash, son. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of rock with the aesthetic though. Poverty. I mean, if that's what you want to call it, I like. I, I <laughs> that's not what I called it, but you know, development, develop, developing. <laughs> I think it made me want to say urban. Where it's not urban. <laughs> Yo, um. We got a couple TTMNs. We actually got one from like a week and a half ago that we we have to get to. So uh, let's get into that. Somebody talk to me nice. Yeah, everything I do, I don't do. I do the other thing. Everything I go across the street that way, I'm going up. TTMN. Yo. What the hell? Let's get it, man. TTMN. We back. We here. Shouts to uh Doug. Doug, my fault we didn't get to this last week or the week before. Matter of fact, I think you sent it afterwards, but um last week we didn't get to uh to any TTM and so I'll play this one. Shouts to Doug. Black and Island Stable. It's Doug G from Massachusetts. Long time no talk. Loving the show. You're getting better every week. Manny, you're fantastic. I mean, Cody, Eve, you know what it is. Free Suku. I was at AEW for Mercedes Monet's debut, and you know, welcome home it was lovely. It was great, but there was a very, very sad moment, and that was the moment in which I realized that Chris Jericho is now Greg the Hammer Valentine, and this man is washed. <laughs> it hurts my heart to say it, but this man is washed. If you were to plan a graceful exit and a graceful retirement for Chris Jericho, what do you think this man should do? And once we come up with a plan, we need to tell him immediately because it's a wrap. Stay blessed. Love the show, guys. Keep at it. Shouts to Doug. Yeah, big shouts out. It's, it's always painful to see what one of the the second you see a legend is officially washed, pain, bro. Yeah. So how 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 can we, you know, what I'm saying, fix yeah. this or we'll have him exit gracefully? Uh, I would say he got to have one one final match on the Jericho Cruise, man. Fuck your story. Fuck your story. Fuck your story. Fuck your story. <laughs> nah, I don't, matter of fact, I'm not even gonna make this joke because it's bad, bro. I'm, I'm gonna stay away. Matter of fact, yo, KP just edited this part out. I was gonna say. No, I was, no, no, no. <laughs> Uh, I was gonna no, say, no. As soon as as soon as Jericho wins the match, one, two, three. You chicken shit goof. goof, goof, goof. <laughs> That's not bad. You can say that. Yo, oh my gosh. Oh shit! I thought I thought you were gonna I thought you were gonna go way worse. Me too. Whew. She thought I was gonna say. Why wait till after? Come on, bust it out! <laughs> you, you piece of shit. Yeah. Oh man, you said it. Hey, you thought it, nigga. No, I thought you were gonna say that. <laughs> um, but yeah, now nah, Jericho Cruz, I think that that could work. Um. 
I'm trying to think, bro. Who was Jericho's like greatest like rival or opponent? Mm-hmm. Look, man. I he going this is this is how Jericho can gracefully exit. He announces he's retiring. I don't care who he has his final match against in AEW. He has a match, let's say, um, anybody. I would say Kenny Omega, but he's, you know what I'm saying, he's not healthy. But he has his match, and he returns to the WWE to get his WWE Hall of Fame <laughs> ring, and that's it. All right, you know he want that shit. And he going to return out there, get his big pop, get his moment, and into the Hall of Fame, and that's it. So I like him. It's better than what I said. <laughs> you wanted this nigga to have his final match on a cruise. <laughs> Off is the direction you can fuck. Oh. Yeah. And then you remember in Titanic when the violin nigga was like, let's play one last time. Nigga Fozzie's. <laughs> nigga F- Fozzie stuff. Chill, slut. I'm trying to see. <laughs> Yo, my fault, bro. <laughs> my fault. Yo, I need to write sketch comedy, bro. That's it. Um, you want a WWE SNL? <laughs> something like it. That should be fire. Oh, shit. Shouts to Malek or Malik, however you say that. You me? Oh, man. What else we got here? <laughs> I think it starts here. Shasta Cuzzo, he said, Does you still think Mercedes sent Naomi on a dummy mission? Mm. Well, Naomi's home. So I don't I don't think so anymore. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think honestly, I can't even remember what I said about her going on a dummy mission. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta I gotta find the I gotta jog my memory. That's I don't remember that. Uh, what I say? <laughs> exactly what he said. <laughs> that she went on a dummy mission. Yeah. All oh, going to um, going to like TNA and shit like that. Just leaving the um, just following her as in leaving the um company. Oh, uh, low key, yeah. Cause you feel me? Cause what did Shorty do? She went to TNA on a little chip, came back like. She came back home, man. She knew what it was. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I do think she sent on a little dummy mission. You see what Shorty doing over there. You know what I'm saying? Second, second, second week numbers. I ain't really I ain't really see no jumps, man. Them numbers is pretty plateaued, if you ask me. It's almost like Manny Mew. Man, you should have took the bet, man. I did take the bet. Nah, you didn't. You said, I won't even take this bet. I said I will take the bet. Bro, <laughs> re-listen to the episode. It's on audio. Bro, I'm going yeah. I'm to I'm tap back in and see what it says. In video. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm going to go back and alter everything. <laughs> <laughs> go back and edit. Uh, Shouts to Just Vance. He said no questions. Just coming through to give y'all well-deserved flowers on the Becky Lynch interview. For some of y'all, wait, for some of y'all flowers could be a no-sweat bet. On FanDuel, man, I wish. I or, four or whatever Cody, or whatever the fuck Cody enjoys in his spare time. Probably bowling or some shit. I don't know. Listening to Remy Ma rap. <laughs> Fire. Uh, he said, keep working, gentlemen. P.S. I already told Eve, but let niggas know if you pull up to Philly for Mania. Always love. I'm there. I'm going to be in Philly on Saturday, brother, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm in Philly from Friday to Monday, so I have no idea what to do, where to go, where to eat. So y'all, let me know. Feel me? If you see niggas on dirt bikes, walk towards them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna tell them I'm a dream chaser. Lord. Oh man, shouts to oh. Ben. Oh, oh shit! And sent three voice notes. Let's get into it, boy. That boy Cody was up there cheesing, you know. He was like me. If I ever, you know, meet my favorite celebrity, Cherokee, 
I ain't gonna say the rest of her name. He like me, bro. That boy was cheesing here at Becky Lynch interview. But I wanna say shouts out to the fam. I wanna say fuck Manny. You feel me? You bringing up shit around a great woman, you know, episode of the year, and you bringing that up. You bring up some cold shit like that. Damn. All right, she still responded, homie. I'm still trying to beat. <laughs> Essentially. <laughs> Also, hey, bro, the rock, the rock just basically renovated itself again. E, while you up there sniffling every five seconds, you know what I mean, like a badass five year old that just got a whooping. Listen to me, listen to me, Will. Your candy ass don't know nothing. All right, you one of the greatest of all time. You my brother, I love you, but I don't want to hear shit else, bro. They cooked last night. That boy Drew is the MVP. He killed that whole segment. See him punk? Sit your punk ass down. <laughs> but let me go back to the rock. Hey, bro. Relax. Put the world title on him. again. If the old man was there, he getting that title push. <laughs> Roman Reigns don't be showing up to work. That shit done with, bro. Just get the title back to the rock, bro. This the new rock. This the final boss, as he called himself. You feel me? Calling Cody, calling the cracker a boy. Yeah, turn that shit up, bro. We need that. <laughs> oh man. Also, they got they got brother love. Brother love, they said he on the island somewhere. 50 been going crazy with it. Greatest heel of all time. I'm gonna ask this. If he on the same island as Vinnie Mac, what that wrestling league gonna be called? That new WWE. Worldwide P. WWP. Worldwide pedophile federation i forgot the f but at the same time there you go get them both up out of here i can't say what i said last time because i know y'all got sponsors and shit y'all get interviews with legends i'm just gonna say this bro when they get to that place not up there but down there in hell they're gonna have the greatest iron man match of all time bro that shit ain't gonna be no hour brother Two hours, dog. Two hour Iron Man match every single day. That's their punishment. No. <laughs> Where is this nigga at? <laughs> Yo. A hog Davis is just dragged off. He was with the dream chaser. <laughs> Nigga got oh, splashed water all on the nigga. No, <laughs> drove off. Oh, oh my god, that was great. That was great. Thanks. Shouts to my nigga Banks, man. KP, you might have to edit the part where he say P. P. <laughs> the P League. Or shouts to Peeps. Last one. Hello, niggas and friends. It's Peeps. TTMN. Um, this first part is not you know, a question, but I did want to say congratulations on the interview. Y'all did great. Um, keep doing your big one. I'm so proud of y'all. Now that's out of the way. Um, now for the foolishness. <laughs> what did y'all think of Rock beating Cody Luther King like a slave last night? On raw, yeah. Um, <laughs> I know that I have been enjoying what's going on. I'm just kind of like enjoying it for what it is. I uh, I know we might disagree, but this has probably been the best that Rock has been through this whole thing. Um, so I just wanted your thoughts. And what are you guys looking forward to the most for WrestleMania? Shit. <clears throat> well, we we answered the first question technically. Yeah, the 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 Rock versus Cody Luther King. I I like the beat down. Feel you know I me? Mean? I I appreciate that. Yeah, and I agree that that was the best thing we've gotten from. To me, that was the best that we've gotten from the Rock in this whole shit. Um, what was the other thing she said? What are we looking forward to the most? Yeah, yeah. mania. Shit, Cody versus The Rock, man. That's really what we need. I'm looking forward to 
getting a couple Philly cheesesteaks. <laughs> Excuse me. And then going, I could get this at any store in New York. I'm just calling it mid. Pretty much. Yeah, I don't I don't want to disrespect the good people in Philadelphia. <clears throat> but I've seen the, the cheesesteaks, and I'm like, bro, I don't want to say I'm not impressed. But it's like, that's it? You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So bear steak to a to a grill with salt and pepper is not doing anything for me. It it honestly it just looked like a chopped cheese. Like that's, well, that's flavor. Not, yeah, it's not ground beef. It's just it's basically the same shit. No adobo, no sazon. <laughs> sure. No <laughs> ox Mickey and shit. Uh, I'm, I'm with I'm with you, Eve. Cody and Cody and the Rock. So basically, that that tag team match now you won for me. That's what I'm looking forward to the most. I'm, I'm and that and not even the match on night two between Roman and Cody. It's just the I know shenanigans. I'm ready for all the fuck shit, son. I like the way it's shaping up in my mind. How I think it's gonna be. I think it's we about to get a long list of shenanigans during that match. So. I'm yeah. ready for that. Yeah, I'm ready for uh, ready for the tag match. I honestly wish it wasn't a tag match, but you know, I'll I'll take it. Uh, I'm ready to see some title changes, bro. Honestly, the uh, them tag team titles. I want to see what happens with those. Um, Becky versus Rhea. I'm sure that's gonna be a, a heater. Um, and yeah. And that's what I'm those those in particular is what I'm, I'm looking forward to most. And then I, Meek, I think Meek Mill gonna pull up and perform Dreams and Nightmares. Just I think I yeah. hope he does it before like <laughs> Cody comes out or something crazy like that. Man, American Dreams and Nightmares. <laughs> now nah, wow. you're cooking. Nah, I'm cool. Man. American Dreams, American Nightmares. I'm doing too much now. Yeah, I'm I'm cool. I think I think um Bailey and Eo. As much like you hear a lot about, they should get more time and uh, like to like build and all of this stuff. And I think they have the potential to go out there and put on a fucking banger. Son. I think. I really think so. I'm like, if I'm hearing this from like Bailey, like you see, like she's getting left off the cards and all of this stuff, and she knows that's, she, I think she's gonna have an extra fire on like an extra chip on her shoulder to go out there and do some shit. And you want an opponent to go out there and do that with? EO is one of the best. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if that match, that match go out, it'd be one of the best on the card. I hope so. Same. I hope so as well. Matter of fact, I'm gonna say that question for next week when we do predictions. I was gonna say which match you think is gonna be the the most uh underwhelming. Ooh, underwhelming. I like that question. We'll say save that one for next week. Mm-hmm. But yeah, man, that's uh that's everything, bro. Action packed. Well, I'll see you at Raw. Come on, oh. Cody. Oh, yeah, that's all you right. You're right. And hold on. You got to buy me a little time. I'm going to change that's the shit. We, we got to do that and activate like the Power Rangers. <laughs> Channel the Mana. The Mana Rangers. <laughs> I, 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 I give my all. I give my all. And I also want to say shouts out to the listeners. Thank you for the feedback and all of that good stuff. Uh, show them your mana. Hey, yo, <laughs> on, bro. no diddy. This is PG, <laughs> all right, yo. This is PG, brother. Yeah, hey, man. <clears throat> Y'all know the vibes. YouTube.com slash black announce table. Hit the run the Becky Lynch interview all the way up. Like it, share it, repost it. Tell a friend, show a friend, do all of that. You feel me? 
yeah, you feel me? While we're here, make sure you go cop that book. Uh, not your average, average girl. Oh, by Rebecca Quinn. You know what I'm saying? Go cop that. Barnes and Nobles, Amazon. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure they got the audio version available also. So go tap in. Um, patreon.com slash black announce table. You know the vibes, you know what's going on over there as well. You know what I'm saying? A lot of pre-show activities, BTS. You know what I'm saying? I'm not talking about the boy band, I'm talking about behind the scenes, what's going on over here. Here, you know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, man, you know where to find me at Scott Haif on literally everything. So yeah, you know the vibes. The monitor. I know, I know you said not the boy band, but this boy got bands. That's that's how we end the show, man. <laughs>